this is Pawpaw, and I wanted to do a quick video on picking a tree for your elevated hunt. Whether you're in a saddle, whether you're in a, uh, a hang-on stand, uh, even if you're on, a, if, if you're on a, a climber. I'm not crazy about climbers, but anyway, these are some of the things that I look for when I, uh, when I pick a tree. Uh, to find a spot. If I'm hunting in this area, it depends upon what hunt kind of hunting you're doing. Are you doing rifle hunting where you can where you can extend your shot out? Uh, or are you archery where you got to have things close? That's going to help determine which tree you need to get to. Okay? Another thing that I look at is which way do I need to be facing? Where, do I, where the trails come from? You know, which way are the, are the trails running? Uh, are there scrapes? Are there rubs? Which way do you want to be facing? Of course, when you're in a saddle, you're on the opposite side of the tree than you would if it was a hang-on stand. These are all factors you need to take into consideration. Okay, um, as far as when I pick a tree, first thing I'm looking for, I'm looking for a tree that's alive, obviously. Uh, I mean, you picked that nasty-looking tree right over there and that tree obviously is dead you're not going to pick a tree that's dead uh, late season like this with no leaves on the tree sometimes it can be difficult just make sure especially the tree looks good on top look it down at the bottom uh, if it's rotten around the base anyway pick a tree that's alive okay I'm looking for a tree that's that's going to be as straight up as possible Maybe with just a slight lean, that's okay. Uh, that tree off in the distance there, uh, that's leaning really bad. Me personally, I wouldn't pick that tree. Okay. Uh, the great big giant trees. I've got this tree right here. And, uh, I mean, I possibly could make this work, but this is a ginormous tree. Um, so, and then you've got the trees... You got these trees way over there. I mean, they're really thin trees, really small trees. Okay, you look at this tree over here, and it's it's big at the bottom, but once you get up to the top, it's going to be pretty thin. So another thing you want to consider is the size of the tree. The smaller that tree gets, the more it's going to sway in the breeze. It's going to sway in the wind. If you're a heavier guy like me. Um, you know, that could come into play. If you're real nervous about rocking back and forth on top of the tree, that's something you want to think of. So here I am. I'm in this spot. And I'm looking, I'm looking down this drainage. And, and we've seen plenty of tracks coming back and forth. All right, going down into this water. And so if I want to set up for an archery shot... I've got two trees that I would look at. Number one would be this tree. Let's see if I can get out to it. This tree right here. Okay. I would, I would set up on I would set up on this tree right here. And you've got branches and stuff at the bottom, but it's about the right diameter. As you're going up, you can kind of clear yourself a path, so to speak. Uh, if uh, if you're on public land, you got to be careful about that. You shouldn't be cutting anything on public land. Uh, but you can get way up to the top there. Uh, that's a pretty straight tree. All right, that would probably work. And then uh, coming over here, this is kind of a gnarly looking tree. Uh, and that would probably it'd work in a pinch if you had to. But if I was going to be on this side... If I was going to be on this side, I would come to this tree right here. Okay, I would come to this tree right here. And I think that's, I would set up right there, right below where it forks off. That would be a good tree for me. There's another really good tree over there. Okay, that tree over there is white oak. All right, and so uh, there are some good trees to pick from. Uh, understand something when you pick a tree if it's got a lot of branches there's another good tree 
Uh, this tree right there. There's another good tree. Uh, of course, they've got branches and stuff in them. And so, um, I understand the more branches that you have, and if you're on public land and you're not supposed to be cutting any branches, you're going to have to go around those branches. So that's going to add uh, time getting up into the tree. So, as you can see, there's a path right here. Uh, I mean, we're like four miles back in the in the woods. And so that that's all animals. Uh, you know, I don't have time to show you all the tracks and everything that we've that we found. But that's what some of the things that I would use to determine which tree I would get in. I'm not an expert, but I've had a couple seasons with it. Uh, I've had some, I've harvested some animals. Um, and this is coming from a guy that was deathly afraid of heights before I started uh, saddle hunting. So anyway, we're at six minutes. And so I need to shut this thing off. Hope you enjoyed it. Appreciate you watching. If you have any comments leave them at the bottom uh like and subscribe i've said in other videos but if you put out more stuff, we've got a lot more content coming in the future and a lot of stuff that's going to try to help some folks and get out and enjoy the, the outdoors